Now, 30 years ago, American student Amy Beale was killed in political violence in Kuguletu in Cape Town. Killers were granted amnesty by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Amy's parents set up a foundation in her name and uh, proved open to finding common ground with her killers. Her mother, Linda, is in the country for a march on the 30th anniversary of her death. Nasipi Isame joins us live. Nasipi, uh, of course, uh, some emotions involved here. Talk to us about uh, some of the feelings as this uh, commemoration takes place. Well, I've got uh, two of the perfect guests who will be able to speak to us on the emotions involved in this remembrance, the memorial of uh, Amy Beale, 30 years um, of anniversary following her tragic uh, death. And her mother is here, who's going to be speaking to us. And as you put it, um, uh, Linda, just not too long ago, saying that this particular site should have been a site where one is sad. However, it's a joyous um, celebration of the life of Amy Bale. But to talk to us more in regards to emotions, I'm joined here by Undobe Gobeni, sir. Um, you're standing very closely with Umamulinda there. Talk to us about the emotions 30 years following the tragic death of Ulinda. Of Amy, my friend. Well, 30 years later, we've moved beyond the death. We're here to reflect on the power of forgiveness and reconciliation. Uh, tragedy turned into a beautiful uh, success story. A number of children that have benefited. The programs that we've developed across these 30 years. It's been a difficult journey, but an amazing one. One that we can't swap for anything else. Uh, when I look at Linda, I don't look at uh, the murder of Amy that I killed. No, it's something beyond that. It's amazing. Amy was amazing. It was a gift, and we appreciate that. So. On the podium earlier on, you spoke about the gift, but also, you know, having time to forgive yourself that you're struggling to get to that point. It's, it's, a, it's a very difficult transition, forgiving yourself. It, it requires you to be able to face your demons. As I've said, the political justifications of the actions are irrelevant when you have to deal with things at personal level. That is where the trick is, having to forgive yourself. It's not an easy exercise, but if you are able to look back at what you've done, acknowledge your own mistakes, uh, recognize the values and the, that were instilled from your own family background, realize that you've wronged your own family, not only your victims, you know. It's not an easy transition. It's, it, it's a difficult sport that many young people are unable to overcome. I'll have to bring in Uma Mulinda here, a grandmother to so many children here in Kukuletu. Um, Tobacco speaks of forgiveness, which is the one thing that you've been highlighting um, throughout uh, you know, the couple of hours that we spent with you. You know, just not too long ago, saying that this memorial site was supposed to be a sad one. However, we are just celebrating, and there's music, dancing. Um, Amy was a dancer and a celebrator. Uh -huh. She did like her dance, and she loved to dance here. And, and, and I, it just, it just, it, she's alive in this spirit, you know. But I do want to say something about forgiveness. Because we are all perpetrators. We are not, none of us can say we have a clean slate, that we haven't hurt someone in some way. Not meaning to, necessarily. You know what I mean? And we all need forgiveness. And what he is saying is you do have to sometimes take a look yourself and, okay, I did that bad thing to someone or myself or something. But I've got to forgive myself. And, and you know who else taught me a lot about forgiveness was, of course, Archbishop Tutu. Just by listening to him. And I was asked by Sky News when he died. I did an interview. I was in the States. And I said, you know, he was like a glowing light in my heart. He filled my heart with sunshine. And once you realize that you You've done bad things, too. We're all in this together. It's not one person or another person. It is about, it, it, we have to realize, we are not perfect. So therefore, we have to understand other people. And that's not a religious point of view, either. It's a realistic point of living, living harmoniously. But we can do so much more if we get rid of the hate and all that.
We'll have to leave it there. Linda Bale there and Dome Gopeni, as you heard it in Paul. Um, light and forgiveness is basically the message that we're receiving 30 years following the tragic uh, death of uh, Linda Bale. Very well, Nasipi Isame. We leave it there for now.